In this video, I will show you how to describe the attributes of the graph of an absolute value function. How do you know when you have an absolute value function is when it looks like a V. It can either be a regular V or upside down V. So for this example, let's go over each of these items. So the vertex is just where the V turns around. For this example, it will be right over here. And this coordinate is at negative 3, negative 2. So that's the vertex. Negative 3, negative 2. The axis of symmetry splits this in half. And so when I draw this line over here, you can imagine if you take this paper and fold it right, right at the line, the graph will match on the two sides. So this line is going to be x equal negative 3. And the reason why it is x equal is because it goes through the x-axis. x equal negative 3. Yeah, for absolute value, all of the axis of symmetry will always be x equals. For the x-intercepts, it's where it crosses the x. So this one crosses two times, so it has to cross the x at negative 1 and negative 5. Negative 1. The y-intercept, there's only one. For this case, and it is a positive one. And now for the equation, it's going to be y equal absolute value. And again, the reason why we know this is absolute value is because it looks like a v. And so looking at the vertex, remember inside we change. So the x coordinate was negative 3. So we change it to positive 3. Outside is negative 2. And that will stay the same. For this example, the vertex is going to be right over here. So that's negative 2, 1. The axis of symmetry splitting this in half goes through x equal to negative 2. And you might notice that the axis of symmetry is always going to be the same is the x coordinate of the vertex. So once you know the vertex, you also know the axis of symmetry. The x-intercepts, here we have no x-intercepts, so we can put none, because this whole entire graph is above the x-axis. It never reaches it, so no x-intercepts. For the y-intercept, that is going to be a positive 3. And now for the equation, so I'm going to look at the vertex and write y equal absolute value. See that x is negative 2, so we change the sign inside, becomes positive 2. And y stays the same, so plus 1. For this example, the vertex is here, and that is 3, 0. The axis of symmetry. It's going to be x equal to 3. And I know that because the, the x coordinate of the vertex is 3. But if I draw the line here, you see that it splits the graph at x equals to 3. The x-intercepts, there's only one x-intercept, and it's going to be right over here at x equals to 3. The y-intercept is right here. At positive 3 and for the equation all right y equals absolute value x and so the x coordinate is positive 3 so going to change inside becomes negative 3 and the y coordinate is 0 so I don't have a plus or minus anything on the outside so that's it for the equation for this example the vertex is down here which is at 0 negative 4 The axis of symmetry will be x equal to 0. And you can also say that the axis of symmetry is the y-axis. The x-intercepts are at negative 4 and positive 4. 
So this one has two of them. The y-intercept is right here at negative 4. And the equation will be y equal absolute value of x. But notice how when you, I look at the vertex, the x-coordinate is 0. So I don't have a plus or minus anything inside with x. But the y value, this minus 4, that goes on the outside. 